Ann Mann News Now here for the grand opening of Cal Verde, four years in the making, recreational marijuana in Belmont. We are finally here. It's our grand opening, and I just want you to see that it's a gorgeous place with a lot of interesting products, and we would be delighted for any of you to come on by and see what Cal Verde, our first marijuana store, has in Belmont. So thank you to everybody for coming out today. It's our official grand opening of Cal Verde Naturals, a project that was four years in the making. Um, there was a lot of hard work, uh, a pandemic. Uh, <laughs> there was a lot of uh, tears, happy and frustration, but we are so proud to bring our vision to Belmont. And um, we had a wonderful time actually working with the town of Belmont. They were um, amazing partners in getting this vision to life. Um, this obviously wouldn't happen without my husband, who essentially had two full-time careers in over the last four years. Um, plus, we're raising a 10-year-old. And um, thankfully, as fate would have it, I met Emma about two years ago. And um, without Emma, this wouldn't be here, to be honest. And then we have our uh, assistant general manager, Kristen, who's been an amazing part of our team as well. So um, we've had a great first four weeks of opening. We're seeing a lot of amazing Belmont residents come in and people from other towns. Um, everyone seems really thrilled with what we've done and um, we're really excited to get the wheels rolling. So, so welcome everyone. <laughs> I just want to say that I'm thrilled to be part of this team and being here in Belmont as a resident, it means a lot to me that we were able to make this happen. So thank you everybody for your massive support and we're just thrilled to be here and thanks to Steve Pinkerton and Chuck Clark and everybody on the planning board that laid the foundation for this a million years ago and uh, Patrice and the select board, thank you for being here. Um, let's do it. Ready? Let's do it. Yeah, yeah sure. And then Kelly, yeah, I can say something. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Belmont. Um, the last month has been so much fun. Everyone that's come in has been super stoked that there's finally a dispensary in Belmont. So thanks for making it happen. Yeah. Yay. Anything, Steve? And I'll take that from you. Okay. There you go. So I guess we'll make it official. Here we go. The official ribbon cutting. Yay! Woo! Ann Mann here. I'm with Patrice Carvin, who is our town administrator, and we are here for the opening of Cal Verde First Day Grand Ribbon Cutting. Patrice, can you tell me a little bit about the process and how grateful we are to you? Sure. Uh, the process actually started when the state changed the law, and it, uh, an article went to town meeting to create recreational uh, districts uh, in town for uh, marijuana, and from there, town meeting passed it, and we um, had Cal Verde's owners come to my office looking to apply for the application that the town had. And it's really been a very long process since then. Uh, it's about four years ago, four before, years. The, before the pandemic. We worked with them on a host, um, host agreement uh, that, that's required through the state and getting them you know, all permitted and ready to uh, open, uh, which they recently just did. So it's a, it's a great thing for the community. It's going to bring in additional revenue to the yes. community. Tax is, revenue, which, which everybody everything. needs help with. So yeah, so it, it's it's. I think um, they'll do great, and it's a great thing for Belmont. Roy, can you tell me a little bit about your experience with trying to help this group open? Well, we gave them a license to do it. Uh, we came, and then a long long time went by, but we came around in the late spring. Oh, no, early spring just to see how they were coming along. And I was blown away by the quality of the interior finishes. It's like walking into the most sumptuous high-end boutique. It's a beautiful building. People really should come down and appreciate it, if only for that. Yeah, and can you tell me what you see as the value that the Belmont taxpayer can get out of an organization like this? Well, uh, I think there's uh, some tax revenue. It's a 3% uh, off the top. and. There's employment opportunities for town residents, and it's a service to the town. It's, it's, it improves the value of properties on South Pleasant Street, so I, I think it's a great uh, development all around. Tell me what you think about this new store opening in Belmont. Well, I think it's great that they're here. It's, um, as Selectman Epstein said, it's an opportunity for the town to bring in some additional tax revenue, provide some uh, work for local residents. 
So, uh, yeah, it's a good thing. Um, we've been following this project for quite some time. It's gone through a lot of hoops, ups and downs. Um, we wrote a letter, I guess, to the planning board maybe about a year and a half, two years ago. To when you say we, you meant your committee, correct? My committee, yeah, the EDC. And so we wrote a letter to help them get the sign that they have out front. It's a gorgeous sign. It, it looks is. like it's redwood. It's got the big Calverde letters all over it. Um, and Very welcoming. It, and so the planning board ultimately approved that given sign. And then the second thing that we did, I don't know if you know this, when this, about before, I guess about six months ago, you had to be 25 to, in order to enter a, a dispensary. Right. Because of the Board of Health. And so the Board of Health and all their greatest wisdom decided, well, we want to talk about this and we want to change this regulation. And so they actually reduced it from 25 to 21. If they hadn't done that, and the inspector from the state wouldn't have been able to even enter this facility. No, sir. That's right. The inspector from the state is younger than 25 years old? That's right. She's 23. And a lot of the employees that work here are under the age of 25. But now it's 21, and that's state standard. And so anybody that's over the age of 21 can obviously come here and shop. And remember, we're very open and friendly here. If you have a dog, we got a bone and some cold water. Bring your puppies. Thanks.